Yo, YouTube. It's been about five weeks. It was on December 10th when I showed up here on YouTube in sort of a manic state. <laughs> yep, uh, I was feeling very inspired to pour my heart out through this camera and just share with you what's going on in my soul. And I have a burning desire to share with you. So I'm gonna do an update here today on what has unfolded over those past four weeks because it's very instrumental to me in my life. And if you're a part of my soul tribe, it will be instrumental to you as well. This is gonna impact you as well. And before I even dive into that, I wanna thank you if you're someone who's been watching these videos over the past five weeks. I do understand that much of the content is not like bodybuilding and strongman and powerlifting. But you know, I was crazy from the beginning. I went back and looked at videos from 2011 where I was talking about a lot of the same stuff using a whiteboard instead of a chalkboard. So, you know, the crazy ones, you know, and you're here with me and I appreciate you, bro. So to just get right down to business, let me tell you exactly what you're going to see in this video. Number one, I'm gonna give you an update on what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm gonna do a run through of the videos I've recently presented to you, and then I'm gonna talk about bioenergetics. There is a wealth of wisdom that's available in the body, and I don't think the body needs to be separated from the work that we do for our souls, spiritual development. Then I'm gonna talk about my training. Uh, you guys have noticed that I was doing strongman training again. I wanna be a bioenergetic strongman, and so a lot of uh, bioenergetic stuff is Soft body, you know, I don't want to say like yoga, but like yoga, meaning like, hey, you got to be a little flexible. You got to be a little soft. You got to be a little vulnerable for feeling. I want that. I can get that. But I have to be committed to that and something else I also committed to, which was doing this strongman show. And so this is where God puts me, bro. And then finally, I'm going to talk about an opportunity that there may be for you to work closer with me and a group of like-minded men that are interested in synthesizing this information and applying it to our lives. Bioenergetics, spirituality, and being the strongest version of ourselves, 360 degrees. So you wanna stick around for that. So let's do a quick rundown of the videos I published over the past five weeks. So right out the gates, you can see that I'm trying to synthesize bioenergetics with Christianity. And I do believe there is a crossover and that there's a lot of exploring that can be done on both sides, the importance of spiritual work as it relates to body and breath work. Number two, this is a video where I was actually answering a fan's question about what it means to give your life to Christ. So in this video, I mentioned how that's such an abstract idea that most people either reject it immediately because they don't get it or people who receive it, but I'm not sure they're getting the most benefit from the relationship with Christ. And so I proposed the ancient practice of Christian meditation called mental prayer. Mental prayer allows you to have a full-on, face-to-face, mano a mano conversation with Jesus Christ in your mind, your imagination. Number three, neo-somatotypes. So a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the term somatotype. It's actually more of a newish term for me. But because I wanted to bring the idea of character structure to a lifting channel, I adopted something similar to character structure. Now, character structure was developed by Wilhelm Reich and then refined by Alexander Lowen. Uh, and it's an idea that the body reflects the mind. So who you are as a person isn't just in your personality, which is sort of an abstract thing. It's built into your person, your body. And so rather than using the psychoanalytic terms to describe those character structures, instead, I noticed that somatotypes are not very different. With somatotypes, you have three categories. You got the ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. And so we used that type of language to describe the character structures. Number four, character structures. Now you might be wondering where this video is because I never used the term character structures in it. Instead, I went on a little bit of a rant about charisma. But in this video, I introduce you to the actual character structures, but I also show you how the energy dynamics work in their body in order to create a posture. So this is a video that's chock full of a lot of stuff. And every once in a while it happens where I wanna share 10 things and I only got one video and it turns into a mishmash like this. In video number five, holding patterns, I actually go a little bit deeper into the holding patterns of each character structure. Number six, muscular armoring. Muscular armoring or what we've referred to in the past as neurotic holding patterns are the specific segments of muscles that are held either tense, tight, 
or soft and weak. So each character structure has its own unique muscular armoring patterns. And once you understand the muscular armoring patterns, you can go to work to release that tension. So in video number seven that I uploaded last month, I showed you your very first assignment, bioenergetic breathing in the Reikian working position, which is basically laying on your back, mouth open, relaxed, breathing into your balls. And I warned you not to be put off by the simplicity of this exercise. We have guys that are in my program that are using this every single day and they're having tremendous breakthroughs. And if you're struggling, you can work with me in order to work around those blocks, or in some cases, you might have to push through them. By video number eight, I took a little bit of a detour. Instead of just teaching, I decided to take some questions. So video number eight was a question about opening the throat. And so with this one, you get some entertainment, but you also get some practical throat opening exercises. Use your voice in order to open your throat and have a deeper voice so that you feel more grounded. Video number nine is actually video number three, but I gotta go back and get it. So how could I forget pulsation? For any of this stuff to make any sense, you gotta understand bioenergetic pulsation, which is essentially the movement of life. And for number 10, I did two bioenergetic analyses. And so I noticed that a lot of people really enjoy these analyses where I took one of your videos that you were sent to me with your permission and I do a bioenergetic character structure breakdown. And in fact, I'll be working personally with one of the young men who sent in his video to get him to break his character structure and be a stronger self. Now something else interesting happened after publishing these videos and doing the analysis is I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys that want me to do private analysis for you. So if you want to get a private bioenergetic analysis from me plus coaching, you can click the link down below that says bioenergetic analysis. You'll notice that there are three options. Option number one, you can just send me a video and I can do a video response. Option number two, you send in a video and we can do a live one-on-one -on -one coaching call together about your bioenergetic analysis. And then of course, option number three that I'll keep available for some time now, which is free. And you can just send in your video and your assessment and you could be chosen to be on my YouTube channel. So from the comments of the people that are watching these videos, I get the sense that you guys are enjoying this and you want more. So I have a few different ways I can go about creating this content for you on YouTube. And I'd like to get your feedback. You got four different types of videos, theory, application, analysis, Q and A, or I'd be willing to explore more artful ways of sharing this stuff with you. So rather than banging out four videos a week, which is really cool, I could spend more time on developing one really important video for you that has B-roll behind the scenes. I can show you what I'm doing. It'll take a lot more work. I can't just shoot it, cut it, and send it up. But maybe there'll be more value for you there. Let me know, either one. So this is a huge announcement. I am relaunching Grounding Camp. And I know some of you are probably wondering what that is. Well, between 2014 to 2020, I ran about 20 grounding camps where we did tons of bioenergetics at a retreat center. And so we did them in New York, we did them in California, obviously here in Florida, we did Texas and a few other places around the world. And I'm wanting to bring it back, but in a brand new way. So if you wanna to get together with myself, and a group of other men who are on the path of being our most bioenergetically charismatic selves, but then also learning how we can help other people with this, then you're gonna to wanna to get on my early bird list for when I'm gonna launch my first bioenergetic grounding camp event. So there'll be a link down below that says sign up for grounding camp early access. Next, let's talk about my training before we talk about how you can become a king for life. Now, as you guys know, when I felt inspired to come back to YouTube, it was double pronged. I knew that I wanted to teach and I wanted to talk and I wanted to get in front of this board, but I also had my strongman aspirations and I decided I wanted to be a master strongman. And as I went down the rabbit hole of creating that video content, I also went down back and retrieved my love for bioenergetics. And now in a way I have them both. I have strongman, which was really tough on my body, and bioenergetics, which is about restoring life and feeling. And so I have some other videos coming out as it relates to what I'm doing in the gym. But in a way, they're gonna have to be combined. I don't want to disrupt me bioenergetically. And so there will be a synthesis of these two types of training in order for me 
to be the bioenergetic strongman. So here's the deal. Not only have I been doing analysis on you guys, I've been analyzing myself. And one of the things I know as a masochist is that I'm collapsed in my abdominals. Just like the masochist character structure, I flex. And I, all my flexing muscles are really tight and then I bulge out at the belly. And so in order for me to be as strong as I possibly can be for strong man, I'm gonna need to do a lot of core exercises. And not only will these core exercises help the stability of my spine and my movement capacity and my power when I do strong man, it will also change my character structure. And this is what I've done in the past. If you watch the videos of me in 2010, I was a collapsed masochist like I am right now. But around 2014, when I busted on the scene and became very familiar with people on YouTube, my waist came in and I was working the core again and it pulled my energy up into the psychopath holding pattern. I have a lot of psychopath also, but in order for my charisma to be expressed fully, bioenergetically, I need to strengthen my core. So if I'm gonna be a great strong man and I'm going to be my most charismatic self, it's both gonna require the same thing. So I'll be doing a lot of core exercises and a lot of twisting. Twisting to release the sides and the tightness in my hips, but also lengthening, drawing the belly in, and doing a lot of core stability exercise. And in order to be really strong in the core, you gotta change your breath. So breath work's gonna have a lot to do with it. I'm not just training for this event in April, I'm training for the next 20 years. If I'm gonna do this and be physically strong, lifting odd objects, then it's gotta be sustainable. I can't destroy my body any longer. I tore both biceps, tore my Achilles tendon. I'm a mess, I'm a wreck. Do I regret it? No. <laughs> But I also do know what's required to heal myself from that. So we'll be on the healing path together. Finally, the big announcement. I'm going to be opening the doors to a community with me where I share everything with you that I'm synthesizing. All the information that's related to bioenergetics, if you love it, I'm gonna be giving you all of my resources. I will also be giving you resources as it relates to what I learn in my private life. If you ever wondered what Elliot's thoughts were on things like business and family and money, well then you'll also be able to learn that stuff too when you take the option to join my King for Life program. Now it's not open yet and I'm not going to be launching it on YouTube because that's kind of corny. But if you're on my email list, you will get first dibs. So all you gotta do is click the link down below that says King for Life Early Bird Access and I'll put you on a list so that when it launches next week, you can be one of our founding members. So that's it, y'all. Uh, that was an easier video than I thought it would be. I'm going to do a little bit of editing for it, but um, I have a lot of fun making these videos with you guys, and I appreciate your presence. You're my soul tribe. I'll be back in a couple of days with some new stuff. Let me know what you want, because I'm listening. Done.